Welcome, folks. I am Jabby Kawai, and we're doing this reaction a little bit different from the typical reactions you see on this channel. I'm using my live stream slash Let's Play setup in order to record this reaction because I thought it would be the easiest way to conduct this in the event that I want to pause and comment before playing again. I am very, very excited to look at this. It's something I've been anxiously waiting for, like many of you, since the PlayStation 5 was announced. I want to see this tear down so badly. I'm very excited, and I would have done this sooner, but yesterday was just a fuster clock. Anyway, Without further ado, let's get into this, shall we? Do not try this at home. Risk of exposure to laser radiation, electrical shock, or other injury. Disassembling your PS5 console will invalidate your manufacturer's guarantee. Don't do that. Oh my god. All right. I'm stupid excited for this. PlayStation 5. The size is 104mm. The width is 390mm. 奥行き二百六十ミリとPS4より一回り大きくすることにより処理能力や静音性の面で規約的な性能向上を実現しました。フロント側にはUSB タイプCポートとハイスピードUSBタイプへポート。リア側にはスーパースピードUSBタイプへ
Look at that motherboard. CPU は8コア16スレッドで最大 3.5GHz で駆動します。GPU は最大 2.23GHz で駆動し 10.3TFLOPS を実現します。Dope. メモリーは GDDR6 を8個搭載し、バンド幅は最大で毎秒 448GB です。That part goes over my head. I don't like that just sounds awesome, but I don't exactly know what it means. 825GB の SSD をオンボードで実装しています。Cool. カスタムの SSD を搭載し、読み込み速度は生データの転送速度で毎秒 5.5GB と高速化され、ゲームのロード時間を大幅に短縮しています。That's faster than you get out of a MacBook Pro. PS5 では長期で安定した高い冷却性能を実現するためこの TIM に液体金属を採用しました我々は2年以上前からこの液体金属を採用するための準備をしてきました。考えうるありとあらゆる試験を実施し、採用に至っています。Like、metal, into his, into it helped, it with, uh, temps, これが PS5 のヒートシンクです。Wow. Wow, oh、PS3 や PS4 と同じくヒートパイプを使っていますが、形状やエアフローの工夫により、ベーパーチャンバーと同等の性能を実現しました。That's big. Do you see how much of the machine that takes up? That's a huge heat sink. Very interesting design. That's cool. That heat sink is huge. That, I mean. So, they have a huge fan and a huge heat sink, and that's how they're able to keep the system running cool within that design. I still think that it's over. The, the, the design is like a bit much. It's a bit bombastic for my tastes. There's a part of me that looks at it and goes, you know, I, would, I might be inclined to wait for the PS5 Slim and see where that takes us. I mean, you look at the difference between the original PS4 and the PS4 Slim, and there's not a whole lot of difference between those. You look at the difference between the PS4. Um, regular and the PS4 Pro is like, again, it's not a whole lot of difference. So I'm wondering if it's going to be the same thing this time around between the PS5 and the PS5 Slim, if it's going to be relatively the same. I don't need my system to like have this fancy rounded design. I don't care about that. All I care about is functionality. It can look ugly for all I care. If it functions well, I don't mind. Like, it's th that's what I like about the Xbox design. I'm not an Xbox fanboy. I just like that Xbox has kept it relatively simple. It's a flat design. It's like it sits on your thing. You're not gonna, you're not preoccupied with looking at it. You're preoccupied with playing, right? What I liked about, I'm, I've mentioned this many times, what I liked about Xbox One, or in my case right now, the Xbox One X, because I, I, I gave up my、um, Xbox One to my brother, I believe. What I liked about Xbox One and Xbox One X versus PS4 and PS4 Pro is that it's so quiet. However, they design. Designed it, however, the engineers at Microsoft designed it, it's so quiet and so powerful. It's not without its issues. Like, I have my, I have my issues with Xbox、uh, that I find、uh, Sony handles much better. But in general, the experience of playing in my living room, it, there's, I wish I could show you, but like, it's all open air. There's nothing that would choke the ability for the air to circulate. And yet, the Xbox is always. Always quieter. And so, looking at what they've done here, I'm actually really happy with the design. And my impression is that they have w e n t out of their way to do what Xbox did on the last generation, which is make a very, very quiet system that you don't notice so much. Because when you're pushing these games, when you're pushing the graphics, when you're pushing the CPU, and you're generating that much heat, it's like it's got to go somewhere and the fan has to work. And I think that the PS4 fan. If I'm not mistaken, it's much smaller. And so that fan, like my first impression is that's huge. That is a big, big fan.、Uh, it's comparable to the types of fans you'll see on an actual computer case. I don't know if it, it's, I think it's bigger than like the stock cooler that you would get with your typical Intel CPU. Just looking at it at a glance, I, I can't tell without holding it in my hand. That heatsink is so big. I'm actually impressed by that more than anything else in this, in this design because it allows for that heat to dissipate really, really well. I mean, I, my knowledge 
of computers is very limited. I've built a bunch of computers, but like, I'm like piecing together a lot of information the way people used to build websites back in the day where like, I would take HTML and sort of like look at other people's websites on the coding back end and then copy it and try to take it apart and re put it back together without actually learning what each of the little brackets and stuff does. So looking at this, I'm using like my limited knowledge of building computers to understand it better. I'm overall impressed with the internal design more than I am with the external design. I, I'm not you know, crazy about the, the PS5 look. And it's so big. It's so big. And but the thing is, I like, I don't mind its size so much. Now, you know, going back on what I said earlier, I don't mind its size so much. If it's going to be a very cool and um, excuse me, a very quiet and very powerful system at the same time, like the Xbox, I keep going back to that. If they're able to achieve, you know, th the sound levels being really low while giving you extremely good performance, I'm I'm more than happy to have a big ass box in my living room. I don't give a shit. That heat sink, I'm, I can't get over how big it is. So much of the machine, like you look at the size of that heat sink, it's like it fills in most of the PlayStation box. That's most of the PlayStation right there. The other crazy thing I forgot to talk about is the speed. Like obviously we've been, we've been talking about the speed of the data processing in this machine for a while. That has been known, but it's, it's still worth emphasizing again, it's still worth talking about again. The speed of the SSD inside this PlayStation 5 is phenomenal and it's worth noting again because it is almost double what you see in the likes of a MacBook Pro, which, you know, up until I got my iMac Pro, I never saw speeds that fast. 5.5 gigabytes per second, like I was saying earlier, the max that you would get in the MacBook Pro is around three gigabytes per second. The iMac Pro, the fastest I was able to get while rating to, uh, together two X5 SSDs from Samsung, I believe they're called X5. Uh, the, the fastest I could get is about four hundred, four and a half gigabytes per second on a RAID. So this is insane speed, like insane speed. Even though we've known this for a while, I still like to call it out. I still like to mention it because that's incredible speed. You know, that's faster than a lot of people are seeing in their PCs right now, which I'm happy about. I'm happy that the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox are giving PCs a run for their money because that's, in, that's incredible speed. You know, for the, I know that the, these next gen systems are expensive, like four hundred, five hundred, five hundred dollars $500, like, but for that price, you're getting this kind of raw data rate, these, uh, this kind of raw transfer speeds, like that's crazy to me. I really, really wish that they gave us something like this on the last generation. Like I said earlier, it feels like, it really feels like to me, the, uh, the Xbox one and the PlayStation uh, four were sort of like these, uh, inter, what do you call it? these sort of in between these bridge systems. I really feel like the, 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 the jump from PS3 to PS4 is nowhere near as dramatic as the jump from PS2 to PS3. Whereas like the jump to PS5, I think is a lot more obvious. You, the speeds you're gonna see here, are, uh, it's gonna be unparalleled. Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Would love to hear your feelings. And that's it for now. I'm Jabby Kuei, peace out.